Hello and welcome. It is time for our first edition of iPhone Friday. Let's give it a shot. Hi there, I'm Bill Skladowski. How about that? Wasn't that cool? Here, look, I've got some other toys too. We've got a little name down there. Aw, isn't that cute? Well, welcome and thanks for joining me. And uh, this is the first of what we hope is going to be a series of uh, Friday videos called iPhone Friday. So if you have your iPhone, grab it. And if not, just take some notes and you'll be ready to rock. My name is Bill Skladowski and I help make tech easy, especially for uh, small biz and home biz owners, but really for anybody. Uh, if you were with us on Wednesday, we also do our video uh, series on Wednesday called What's New Wednesday. Uh, you can check that out on uh, YouTube or it's on my blog, which is at uh, BillSkladowski.com. More on that later. But anyway, the plan is this. Two new videos every week. What's New Wednesday with new apps, new programs, new websites, interesting sites that you will help make your life easier, uh, that sort of a thing. And then iPhone Friday, since just about everybody on planet Earth has an iPhone nowadays. And if you don't, you should. No, you can do whatever you want. But a lot of the things that we will talk about when it comes to apps on your iPhone, by the way, will also carry over if you happen, if you happen to have a, um, an Android phone. But some of the things that we talk about with iPhones as far as settings and how to use them, they're specific to iPhones. So uh, I invite you to uh, stick around no matter what kind of technology you use. And I'm guessing you're going to learn something. So today we're going to talk about iPhones and how to, as the little slide card said at the beginning, how to find anything on your iPhone. And what I mean by that is, um, well, anything. Apps, uh, contact information, emails, anything. Okay. So uh, how do you do that, you ask? Well, it's real simple. Let's go over to the iPhone and check it out, shall we? Here, wait, let me push the magic button. Oh, look, and there's our iPhone. So when it comes to finding things on your iPhone, and like I said, it can be anything. It can be apps. It can be, gee, do I have my doctor's name in my contacts? Do I have, you know, whatever. Uh, there's two ways to do it. One is very easy and the other is ridiculously easy. Let's do the ridiculously easy one first since most people like that one. Um, when it comes especially to apps and you don't know, I mean, if you have a lot of screens on your phone, now you're looking at my, <laughs> my phone over there and I just have one, two, three different screens, but you'll notice that that third screen is full of folders, which are all full of apps. So yeah, there's only one, two, three, there's only a dozen things there on the screen, but they're all folders. And each one of those folders, when I tap on it to open it, is gonna have another nine or 10 or 12 things in it. So I got a lot of stuff on my phone and I'm sure you do too. So the question then becomes, how do I find an app when it's not obvious? You know, if it's on the first screen or maybe the second screen there as you see it, you know, it, it, that's easy enough to see. Do I have Google Maps? Well, there it is. Do I have, you know, uh, uh, Outlook? Well, there it is. Okay, cool. But if it's buried in a folder somewhere, how do I find it? Well, take the easy way out <laughs> and ask Siri. How, how cool is that? Remember, when it comes to Siri, now if you don't, we're gonna do a whole thing on Siri uh, coming soon. But for most folks on most phones, it's, it's already enabled so that all you're doing is pushing in the home button. If you have a home button, if you have an iPhone 10, hang on, we'll get to you. But if you have a home button on your phone or on your iPad, just press it and hold it until you see Siri come up. Like, uh, like that, see, you were saying. So she waits and listens and, you know, if she doesn't hear anything that makes sense, she'll either say, I'm listening or you were saying or whatever. But if you push that and then say, open the name of the app you're looking for, whatever it might be, uh, let's pick one, uh, Google Maps or something like that. If I just press and say, open Google Maps, oh, she's too fast for me. Hang on, I'll try again. Open Google Maps. Look at that, it comes right up. How cool is that? Anything else will do the same, by the way. Uh, if I wanna 
call somebody or if I want to open an app or find a contact or whatever, you can have Siri do it for you. So let's see. Uh, let's dig way back in the back here. I've got, oh, I have my I have my Kindle app there on my phone, so I can open that if I were want, if I wanted to. Now I'm trying this without having tested it on Siri because sometimes she can't find everything. But let's see if she can find this one for us. Open Kindle. Look at that! Comes right up, doesn't it? How cool is that? So that's the super easy way to do things. Now that is very helpful with apps. Not so helpful if you're looking for people or information or something like that. So here's the uh, second way to do that, which is use the search function that's built into the phone. Uh, just like Google, you can go out and search for things, except you're searching on your phone, not on the internet. But it will also search for everything pretty much everywhere if you let it. The way you get to search on the phone is by putting your finger somewhere on the screen that's not one of the apps. In other words, I've got, you can see across the top there, I've got three rows of apps and stuff like that. So if I were to touch one of those, of course, it would open. So I'm putting my finger kind of down in the space down here somewhere, and then it's just going to be put your finger in there and pull down. Now when I say pull down, what does that mean? That means that my finger stays on the screen and I slide down against the, you know, against the screen. So I put my finger there and I pull down. See what happened? Let's go back and do that again. I'll just put my finger in the screen and I'll pull down. And when I do, it opens up what you can see there is the search and Siri suggestions. Now, what are Siri suggestions? Well, as I use things on the phone, like I was using my contacts today, or I was looking in photos today, or I was checking Google Maps, and, and you and I just opened up Kindle together, the things that you've used most recently are going to appear as those suggestions. Now, they're just suggestions, and of course, if you're looking for something else, you can either type it or speak it using that search box up at the top there. If all I want to do is type something and I'm, say, looking for a person or something like that, uh, my real estate agent is a guy by the name of Tim. If I type in T-I-M space, and then I can see all the Tims that I have in my contact. And the last one down there, Tim, uh, uh, Tim Ali is my uh, real estate agent. If I were to just tap on his name, his contact will come up. It'll also allow me to search the web for him, search the app store for him. I don't think he has any apps, but you know, with maps, I could find where his office is. By the way, it's in Cleveland, and I'm not going to Cleveland this time of year. But if I wanted to open his contact, that's the first thing you see up there at the top is where it says contacts with his name, right? And if I would simply tap on that contact list, well, there's his contacts, and I can call him or email him or text him or do whatever I want to do. Now, that's with a contact. If you're looking for a specific app, by the way, let's say I'm looking for photos or something like that. Again, finger to the center, pull down and start typing. Now, I've already got something up there that I typed, but if I just start typing again, it'll go right over the top of that. So if I go P-H-O-T, well, there's photos. I have Google Photos, I have PhotoScan, and I have the iPhone photos all in there. I just tap on one and it takes me directly to that app. How cool is that? Now, you can use this for a lot of other things, but I don't want to make this video too long and I don't want to get too involved with it. But I will say that if you're searching for a person in your contact list, or you're searching for um, a specific app, or maybe you're searching for an email, perhaps. You got an email from somebody as well. You could do the same kind of a search where you pull down and just start typing what you're looking for in the email as well. And all the emails that have that name or phrase or word in them will also start to populate in that list. And so you can start seeing what you've got with all of that stuff. That's a little more advanced, and maybe we'll get into that in uh, days to come. But I just wanted to give you the basics of finding stuff on your phone. And of course, the super easy thing is if you have, you know, Siri turned on where you can go, hey, Siri, and it comes up for you like that. Well, she's going to get confused now. But if we were to do that, you could do and open an app that way. Hey, Siri, open Kindle. You don't even have to worry about it, do you? You can open up anything that way. Or 
Hey Siri, open Google Maps. Perfect, right? So two ways to do things, and that is either have Siri do it for you by just using the command or pushing on the button, all right? If you have an iPhone 10, by the way, that's probably your easiest bet right there. So you just, you know, talk to Siri and she does her thing for you. Or you use the search function, which is just the tap, hold on the glass, slide your finger down on the screen, and then you can type for or speak the search that you're looking for, okay? Got it? Good. If you have questions about any of this, feel free to get in touch. And uh, what I mean by that is we're going to be posting this video on Facebook, on YouTube, and on my blog at BillSkladowski.com. Now, if you want some additional goodies to play with, we've already used Siri once, and believe me, we're going to be using her a lot more. I'd invite you to stop over to the blog and go to BillSkladowski.com slash Siri and I have a uh, free downloadable little tip and trick sheet for you with about 15 different tips that you can use to get the most out of Siri. And it's free for the asking. All you got to do is stop by that website down there, billsgladowski.com slash Siri, and you can uh, just get your own copy right there. So again, stop on by. If you have questions or you need more information about anything in particular, go ahead and leave a comment wherever you happen to be watching this video, YouTube, Facebook, on the blog, whatever. Uh, just leave a question or a comment and we will address those in future editions of either What's New Wednesday or iPhone Friday. That's going to do it for now. Have yourself a great weekend. Uh, go out there and have some fun with or without your digital devices. And we'll talk to you again next week. Uh, it's Bill Sklodowski from the blog of the same name. And we'll uh, talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye.